Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody. This is a fun, fast Tinkercad bay window. It was suggested by Brian. If you have not completed it, there will be a link up above. It is fun and it's got a lot of useful skills. Now, Brian reached out and said, Hey, do you have a way to add the little panes that are in some windows? Friends, of course I do. Let me show you how slick this is. So, first, let's measure this. We've got a window that's 54 by 54. Let's quickly bring out a cube. I'm going to also turn on my grid again for build mode. When I take pictures, I like to have it gone. Let's do shift stretch. And like we saw a moment ago, we're going to make it 54 on every side. But then we're going to make it really skinny. I'm also going to make it that black. I thought it worked decently well. You can adjust that later as you play. At this point, we're going to put the work plane out here on the rectangle. And we're going to search for the grid. When you type grid, you will get this orange one right here. It is the one we want to use. You can drop it on, and then you need to pick what you want your columns to be. I'm going to do 4x4 four four and press Enter. I'm going to make my gap 0.1. So there is a very thin gap. It has got a size of 2. I'm going to make that size 5 and see if I like it. I think that's going to be pretty nifty. Now I'm going to move it to the corner. Now friends, remember we measured and found 54. Are you ready for this? I'm going to shift stretch and we're going to type 50 and press enter. Now we can take these two shapes and do a line. So I'm selecting them, pressing the letter L and I want middle and I'm going to do middle and I want middle. So now it's even on every side and friends, I'm going to make this a hole and let's group it. Control G is group. And you've instantly got your awesome frame for your window. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground. I'm gonna do shift select, L for a line, click on the main one and choose middle. Zoom in here and I wanna choose middle so that it's lined up. And then also I wanna find the middle up and down. There it is. Friends, there you have it. Sweet pains in an instant. Let's do the same process over here for the side. Once again, put the work plane on there by pressing the letter W. Check your measurements. We've got 24 by 54. I'm gonna bring out that grid again by typing grid, pressing enter. We want this grid. I'm gonna just set it down. I'm gonna choose on this side to have four columns and three rows. I'm gonna set that to size five again. And I'm going to do point 0.1 again, have those nice thin lines in between. You can adjust. I don't think four are going to fit, so I'm going to change that to three and see if I like it better. I think that will be better. And now remember, we're going to go grab that piece of material. I'm going to bring out a rectangle. And remember, the numbers were 24 by 54. I'm going to do shift select to line it up. I want that one to be the boss and there is the middle and there is the middle. I'm going to make it thinner. I'm going to make it black. And then I'm going to take this one and make it a hole. And as you can see, it is not lining up as well as we'd like. I'm going to try and change it to two for the columns and I'm gonna change it to four and see if we can make this match. Because we didn't measure these, it just might not match perfect, but let's see what we can do anyways. I'm gonna change these measurements to 52 and I'm gonna change this measurement from 24 to 22. So once again, I'm leaving that same gap. Let's do shift select, choose a line, make the black one the boss and choose middle and middle and if we can peek inside there middle and when we group that that actually looks pretty darn awesome I'll push it in so it cuts into the glass and then don't forget this trick control C to copy with the work plane still here move to the other side 
do W for work plane and put it on this side, do control V to paste, D to drop, arrow keys to move it across, and bingo, you have just got an amazing bay window work plane on the ground with panes on every side. How fun is that? Now friends, there's a ton of room for you to keep playing and have fun with this. I'm gonna shut off my grid quick. Friends, of course, I wanna say thanks again to Brian for the idea and I hope you are having a blast using Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.